we start with one hour chart just i want to give a quick update first of all if you refer to my last analysis since the price was within this move because we mentioned who will get the trade from here we had the trade move their sub loss to break even and we mentioned having entry above the top can be one of the option or we wait for the breakout of the previous top this one next flag or correction we take the trade and this is both of the option works and this is what we get because we mentioned with the breakout of the 200 we're looking for 230 almost the price near to what we expected and for the big because we have been looking for buy since the price was from here for those traders they keep the trade either from here or here or even they took the trade from here right now at least they need to book some profit all right and now we want to see what's the next because with the breakout of 230 we're looking for the 260. anyway we start with the daily chart and this on daily chart as we can see we have been looking at this one with the price broke the previous top almost there and the next level with the breakout of 230 we're looking for 260. this is the next target but we need to see the breakout of confirmation for the 230. Um, and if you refer to the indicators we see we have a divergence both of the indicators i don't think this is i mean this is not the start of the reversal mostly we can see the uh, correction based on lower time frame but since we get this sharp the price reverse really sharply we should know how to at least book our profits and you want to see what's the next the next target with the breakout of the 230 we're looking for 260 and based on forward chart we don't see any trades at all we have to, if you want to look for the next trade we have to wait for the correction and right now we're looking at this if the price consolidate here another few hours it turns to a correction of flag we can look for the next trade all right Based on one hour chart, MACD doesn't show us a divergence. Another indicator showing me the divergence. All right. At this point, we need to be quite careful. Any trade we consider as a short term. And we need to see the breakout of 230. But at this point, we cannot simply buy. We have to wait at least another few hours. At least we get the flag or correction similar to what we have here. And for those traders, they get the trade within this move. It depends where they want to move their stop loss. But at least they need to book some profit. And for those traders, they get the trade from here either move their sub loss to break even or move their sub loss somewhere around 200. And in this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.